I know what he's saying. But because y'all y'all are talking about they, 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 they can affect the, between them two, and you throw Q in there too. They can affect the whole city. Okay. It don't take but that many that, moves. But no, but but listen, I said based on this aspects of this conversation. No, man. When, when they said no. when they said, see, you don't you don't get these spaces, two K. They said twenty. They said only twenty percent of niggas is having sex, and their eighty percent is sexless and childless. No, 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 no. Add the context. <laughs> Add the context. So you got to take out the people that's married because they're not a part of that. that oh, yeah, we are. Oh, you yeah, don't yeah, think yeah, we're no, Let me let me say what you're talking about. we talking about the majority of the people. Oh, yeah, married people. women, too, be a part of that. Uh, my, my gynecologist told me, she said when she's married and she said she she sees so many cases of married women coming in with STIs. She was like, it's so crazy. I tell them at least get it done once a year. Get so everything the, the point of the matter is, it's the people that sexually active out here in these streets with multiple different partners that's willing to have that conversation, right? Obviously, you can't do the test with people that's not even participating as a part of that conversation. But the people that's sexually active, that's having multiple different partners, on the regular, you're talking about people that's either A, not married, or B, just out here having sex with multiple different people out here in these streets. Most of the time, it's not a lot. Of, look, man, most of the, it's getting even worse. Most of these guys are sitting in the house playing video games all day. That's a fact. They playing. That's a, no seriously. They playing Call right. of Duty. Right. That's they're a playing, demographic for sure. Okay. They're playing K twenty right. four. They playing Madden. Uh -huh. they, or they watching somebody else on a live stream playing it on Twitch or Kick, and they chilling. Most of these dudes is not out here in the streets. They're not in the clubs. They're not in the bars. They're not out. They're not even. No, they socially awkward. Most of them is socially awkward. And so most of those guys, it's a, it's a small minority of dudes, and in any uh -huh. city. Go outside in any city. Go to Detroit. Go to Chicago. Go to L.A. Go to go to you can go to Milwaukee. You can go to Pittsburgh. You can go to any any major city, especially the Miamis and all of that. Everybody that's act, that's out here active, most of the time, they either one person removed of knowing who is who, or they all know each other. It's a small demographic of people, unless you're from out of town, unless you're from a real touristic city like like Miami. Or where you know people come in to party like a Vegas or something like that. If you go to a city where everybody, you know, the scene is active and you know what's happening in the streets, everybody know each other. Everybody is participating. Each other. You know who out here active. You know who out here participating. It's not that hard to figure out. I know every single person that's in my city that's out here in the streets. Everybody know everybody. It's all interconnected. We all follow yeah, each other. You don't know what they're doing though. If you listen, it's so it's so crazy. To where when a chick pop up on the scene, like a chick that don't nobody know, people be people be flipped out. Like, who is that? And you know her? Where she come from? Like, it's a thing. It's she you, me. you can't you can't. But see, you can't. You been you been disingenuous when you say that. Look, all these niggas play video games. Look, look at well, look, look look look. Watch this. Watch this. The number one threat for black women is to destroy a nigga PlayStation and Xbox. If you go to the pawn shop right now, you'll see a whole bunch of Xbox that need repair because these black bitches is fucking up these niggas. Hey, Xbox. First, of all, first of all, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. I will say I earned my name Osama B. Taylor because on a previous panel, I definitely said I turned off the game in the middle of the Exactly. Of it's exactly. Oh, hey, B. Taylor told us she hid the nigga joysticks in her trunk. Why you say that? Yes, she hit the nigga joysticks in a truck. Nigga, I'll tell you. You can't All I know is most out, people. Okay. Most people is not outside like that. Bro. Well, if well, Anton, if most people aren't outside, I would think more men are screwing than women. Think think about it like this. No, man. every everybody that was active in Atlanta all went over to Houston. Yeah. It's okay. The same, it's the exactly. Same it's people. people that don't live in Houston that's bringing that stuff here. No, but no, think about it. They went over to Houston and they started busting all of them chicks down because exactly. it, was mainly, it was mainly the dudes. It was a lot of dudes that moved over mm -hmm. to Houston and now all of the chicks come over from out of town. They all come into town and it's the same dudes that's doing the same stuff to the same chicks in a different city. It's the same thing. It's the same. Mm -hmm. and, and now dudes has got to be Houston Houston are like, y'all trying to say it's the people that's been here. It's the new people that's coming in. Yeah, but you but but y'all also was already messed up from all of them dudes that came over from New Orleans. From New Orleans. 
it, yeah. for, exactly yeah. from a, a different place. No, but them New Orleans niggas fucked up more than just Houston. They fucked up Atlanta. They fucked up everywhere. Yeah, everything. Yeah, they did. I, 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 call that the, I call that the great nigga migration. That shit <laughs> fucked up that? the whole southern United States. Yeah, no, yeah. Nah, that's messed up. Well, let's get to the show. <laughs> 26 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> God damn, quite an intro. <laughs> well, this is a good intro, y'all, but make sure y'all get tested. Good morning, good evening, yes. good afternoon. Make sure you hit the like button. And don't be afraid to go get your little prostate tickle check. Okay. They have it's prostate important. massages. It's it's um it's healthy Listen. for you. Hey Q, Y'all you gotta give a, hey Q, it's you gotta give a shout out to Drill Fan. Hey Q, you gotta give a shout out to Drill Fan. I, 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 was, uh, I wasn't done. Oh, okay. Like, All right, my bad. Let me say the black <laughs> I wasn't uh, done. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, go follow Anton's other channels. We have other people that's on the panel. Make sure you go follow their channels. And yeah, we also did- let me let me let me let me capitalize off of that. Hey, make sure y'all go and follow everybody channel that got a channel. Uh, from mm-hmm. B Taylor to 2K, 2K. I don't even know if you're active on YouTube, but I know you're super active on Facebook. Everybody yeah, that got most. a channel, my dog Drill Fam, Tom, everybody, whoever got a channel, make sure y'all go and check for them. Look on their Instagram, follow them, check their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Show them some love, and, and make sure that y'all support them just as much as y'all support them over here. Because you know okay. what I'm saying? We're not trying to keep every, all you know all of the all of the traction over here. We're trying to make sure that everybody be successful everybody celebrate and, and as we go up everybody go up so we gonna we gonna we gonna make sure that we push everybody we're not just trying to push us we're not just trying to do what we do we trying to make sure that everybody is celebrated so make sure y'all go and support everybody that's nigga fuck part. these nigga channels just follow me nigga <laughs> fuck all these niggas uh, logic don't even got a channel. i be posting on there so yeah logic don't even got a channel y'all but no <laughs> don't, don't <laughs> double C line. Line. yeah why yeah, you got that cat but that's, um, that's the only cat I ever paid for. You sure? <laughs> 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 well, me, B Taylor, and 2K was on my channel this weekend, and honestly, wait, wait, had- you who? Oh yeah, logic. You be- <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? Hey, hey, and Todd, see you later, Todd. Dog, see y'all, nigga. Hey, you was going out the majority all the time. Logic, logic, logic been talking so up. much. Logic been talking so much. So logic and I decided to do something where we hosted like a kind of a uh, what did we call it? A casting oh, call. A casting call because I didn't casting realize call. it was like fifty people in my DM wanting to come on Monday show. And I was like, I don't even know how to vet all these people. You don't know who's going to talk, who's not going to talk. So me, Logic and I came up with this idea. Let's host a little show. Let's see how these people come on panel. And um, one of the pers- one of the people that came on the panel was Jewel Fram. So um, we asked people a bunch of questions. We'll be doing it once a month. Ladies, we need y'all. Okay? We need ladies. Ladies, don't be scared. Okay? Don't be uh, scared. You know, you know what, Q? The, the, they be hitting me up. I don't know why they don't hit you up. They send me messages. They probably don't like you. You know, women. That's why. They probably scared of you. Because they're like, we're not hitting her out. She's there. They're, they're, they're intimidated from Q and her beauty. Listen, y'all hey, gonna get the listen, same message. Send, send Q to DMs, all right? Send Q to DM. Ladies, I'm gonna send you the same message I send the men because it's saved in my phone, okay? So y'all get in the same message. But She's gonna ladies, call you hun. I'm gonna call you hun. <laughs> <laughs> Copy your case. <laughs> but definitely hit me in my DMs. Say you guys want to um, be on the panel, and then I'll put you in the schedule. But uh, let's start the show 30 minutes later, okay? So, Black, yeah. power. Black power. Black <laughs> power. How is clout affecting the community? Where Here's a little video, something we talked about, I want to say, two weeks ago about this super-duper dope chick called Brittany Renner and Charleston <laughs> White. A video came out about Charleston <laughs> um, speaking on basically what happened with Brittany Renner. The internet is going crazy right now saying Brittany Renner had a meltdown. Brittany Renner uh, just went and saying, I think you spoke. The internet is stupid. Uh, Brittany Renner didn't have no meltdown, homie. Uh, she, she played on us. Uh, yeah, she was bull. Nah, homie, she was bullshitting. You think so? I, I was there, nigga. She, wait, 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 wait. Was alcohol not involved? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, homie, she wasn't that drunk. Say, homie, you talking, you talking to something. You talking, come on, homie, she wasn't that drunk. Because when she went outside, nigga, everything changed. When the cameras went off and she got in her motherfucking Uber, nigga, she, man, I said, oh, homie, she done played on everybody. But she, she took advantage, nigga. She checkmated all over. 
it took me it took me it took me half a day to realize that <laughs> because because when she got in the uber i'm saying man what well, she just nigga she ain't the same person that was just in there <laughs> she checkmated all of us you know what she did. Shout, out, hey. shout out to real life three stars i'm gonna be linking up with them um I, I think I think Anton oh Anton is the only person. I'm gonna go you gonna be in my city? Yeah, Wait, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be down there this oh. week. I gotta go and do an interview with them this week. So yeah, we we connect. Oh, that's the show you're gonna be on? Yeah, that's, one, like oh, that's one of the interviews I gotta go and do. That's Tap dope. in, bro. Yeah, yeah, you are, you gotta give you you gotta give a shout out to Anton. Anton is the only person that Charleston White ain't exposed after working with them. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Hey, no, everybody else, nigga, from fresh and fit, everybody else, after that nigga worked with somebody, he exposed the fuck out there. I don't know what the fuck Anton did, that nigga, y'all you know saying? Maybe he got them slip him some of that little Flip Johnson booty, but he didn't <laughs> suck. <laughs> what? No, Tristan White was actually cool in person. No, I met him. He was actually cool. You kicked it with him. Yeah, he was actually cool. He was. He got some stories for days. Like I was like, I don't mean, know, but he, he, either Anton, the stand up business nigga, or the rest of nigga flower. But look at look at Charles and White track record. Every yeah. time he get out for a collaboration with a nigga. He exposed the fuck out there. Well, but logic, you know, Anton is a good business person from our previous en endeavors. So hey, that, that nigga owe me twenty dollars. Fuck that, nigga ain't no business. <laughs> Give me my money, nigga. <laughs> well, so I want. I when I saw that, I think we talked about it last year regarding people are doing stuff for clout nowadays. We got that brick chick. We got this. We got that Charlie Russell. I don't want to even name the men. I, I wanted to bring that to the attention because clearly she was put on a show, which I think we brought that up into the conversation when she did this. So I just want to know how is clout affecting the black community from y'all's perspective? Y'all want to tell y'all yeah. got put off clout or y'all want me to go first? You can go first. <laughs> I mean, I mean, clout is a wonderful thing. Like if, if you are, if you are a possessor of it, so like I, I I can give people clout. I can say, hey, come on my platform, come get some clout. And what she'll do for that clout is everything. But like for the people who getting it done to them and to who the girlfriend that was, then clout is a horrible thing, man. I think it's uh it's being it's being misused. Bad. I ain't got no well. Um, I mean, yeah, you do. Oh, clap the new forty ball. Clout king. <laughs> it is, no, yeah. it is. Right, listen, a lot listen. of people mm. now go ahead go ahead i'm, I'm no a lot of people has clout chase especially on youtube yeah. right let's just be honest they'll come on these panels i've seen them they come on anton's panels say some triggering shit record and go on their little ass stream and then want to be like duh, 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 yeah, with yeah, no it, it's, it's, different, it's different types of clout right so it's, it's the type of clout that people do in order to try to try to um you know what I'm saying? Try to come like guys clout chase differently than women clout chase. Women clout chase in two different ways. Either they trying to get some visibility by trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Get mad and expose a dude, which you can solve for that. It's an easy way to solve for that. Or a lot of the women clout chase by just trying to be involved with the right type of people. And that's why I keep telling guys a lot of times, like you ain't even got to be famous. Like if you that dude, She'll do it just because she want to be in your presence. She'll do it for the clout. She'll do it just to be associated with you. It's been plenty of women. Like if you kick it, like if you be around certain type of women, you'll hear them say sometimes like, oh, I know them or I hung out with them or I did this or I do that. And they do that for the clout. You know what I'm saying? So that's the one aspect of it. But then the guys clout chase much, much differently. And, and that's the problem that I have. I don't have a problem with women because that's what women are supposed to do. They're supposed to be trying to be affiliated with the dopest guys. But the guys, that's what I try to, that I that I have a problem with. It's it's because when I see dudes clout chasing, and and they 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 willing to sacrifice their own integrity for a little bit of visibility, that junk is corny to me. That's the part that's corny. I expect expect women to clout chase. You you supposed to be able to leverage that, but I I don't like it when dudes clout, clout chase. I think that that's super corny. I think that that's stale. I think so do that, you think the dude's supposed to earn the clout? I don't think that you have to earn it. I think all you got to do is keep being real, and eventually they're going to see the real in you. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to do a whole lot as a dude. You just got to be chill. Man, I know dudes that ain't never had no visibility. I got a guy um, that's on my team that don't even want to ever be on camera. He ain't never been on camera. He one of the realest dudes that i ever seen. And he has no problem whatsoever getting everything that he wants. He get all of the money. He chilling. And part of the reason he don't want to be on camera is because of some of the, you know, some of the industries and the businesses that he in. But the fact of the matter is that he don't have to do it. He just a real dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so he get everything that he want as a result of it. And so I don't think that guys have to earn it. They just got to be real. Because of but see, I don't think, but I don't think she was talking about clout like that. I think she talked about people that do say makeup shit extremists. They do extreme shit. So she ain't saying clout like the typical clout chasing. I know she said that was the gave to Carly Russell. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a difference for trying to come up on panels, well, be around people, get clout. Is it any different when you're doing it for the likes? Yes, no, we, 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 no, we, yes, no, it is. It is. We're doing if it you, for the if, like, if, it's if like, you're going to sit here, is you going to get sit here and say, like, just say the dude on this show, what's the little nigga name that say he got like a hundred yeah. bodies? The King, 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 whatever. Yeah, but, but that's, yeah. that's different, though. That's different. No, that's no, different because, no, that's not because what he's doing, right? He he said, be fine. If he's himself, <laughs> then he's not going to draw no attention. They yes, draw he attention. He would be respected more. But now, but see, he know, they don't know. No, they not. Keep it a bean. Unless, yeah. look, just say, I, I ain't going to call no nigga name because you don't want me to say the nigga name on the show. But look, it's certain motherfuckers that say extreme shit to get clout. Yeah, they, 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 that's that's a they, look. Put like put like another one, another one, because she used Carly Carly Russell, right? right? She did something extreme to get extreme attention, mm -hmm. and then now we see a lot of people say extreme stuff. The seven baby mama nigga, right? He could have said three. He could have said really two. Don't it would have like been believable. You really don't like him, Logic. It ain't no. I don't <laughs> like the. I don't like the lies. I think it's enough shit going on out here that we don't got to create stories like the brick lady. Mm -hmm. That was an extreme. <laughs> well, what, it, but, it, but it wasn't for clout. She did it for money. Not for clout too. Clout. I think the money just clout, came with it. Money. Just doing Logic. it for money, doing it for clout? I don't think that that's well, the same. I, I, I think it's more than just like on the <laughs> yeah. surface. Like it has to do with like dopamine and the way our brains are wired type of shit. No, yeah, clout doing it for money is a much different thing. Cause like, it's, it's, it's people that, you know what I'm saying, you want, like you'll bring in and you want them to be able to turn up. You want them to do a certain type of thing. And so that creates for a better show or it creates for, you know what I'm saying, let loose. That's why a lot of times when people come into the studio, I got all of the drinks and all of that because it loosens them up, right? You know what I'm saying? So it makes for a more entertaining conversation. But, but when people are intentionally doing stuff for it, like, okay, I'll give you an example. When I see a chick write a book, a tell-all book, that's clout chase. That like that's the ultimate extreme form of clout chasing to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because she otherwise wouldn't have got any any visibility as a result of her own. You know what I'm saying? Her own person, her or whatever it is that she is. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's an extreme form of clout chasing because you're not supposed to kiss and tell. You're not supposed to talk. If you're doing something that you're not supposed to do, that goes against everything that we talk about from a cultural or social norm. That we not supposed to do in order to try to throw somebody else under the bus in order to get some visibility. That's the ultimate ultimate extreme version of clout chasing, and that's not even holding nobody accountable. That's you doing it because you don't have any other way in order to get some visibility for yourself. That's clout chasing for me. But I think we all clout chase if you think about it. If you're a content creator, like we talk about what's trending in the algorithm, and we chase after that story because we know that's going to bring views and money and a new audience, like an audience that's probably looking up this story, never seen your channel before, and all of a sudden, boom! Like I know when I hopped onto like the femininity movement. Oh, not the femininity movement. What was it? I don't know anything. It was just like soft girl era type stuff. Like my following just blew up. And everybody just, you know, so when yeah. But I was thought, you throwing somebody else under the bus to do no. it? That that that, it, that didn't have anything relevant to do with what it is that you was talking about. No, yeah. I feel like it's That's all a clout chaser when you when you mix in some lies with it, like when it's not when it's not genuine. Like me saying, okay, I beat up Anton. If I really beat him up, I'm not. Oh uh, goddamn me! I really asking for clout. I'm just telling the truth. But when I lie. 
that's me asking for clout. 